finally get a shot the pull on that. Welcome back to Adventure WA. So today, I was lucky enough to get invited to a mate's property out in the wheat belt to try and catch some yabbies. So here's where we are. Awesome little dam. I have been here before and I know there's tasty yabbies in here. So let's get the nets in. Hopefully we get a few. So today, a couple of open top lift nets once again with chicken carcasses couple of those black opera house nets so we'll get them in chicken carcasses for bait um, we'll try a couple other dams later and we'll use a bit of cat food and some more chicken and see what one works the best so let's get those nets in Woo! net one open top lift net and come out here into the fence Oh yeah. All right, so we're gonna work our way around the dam, get all these in. All right, let's go. Net number two, black opera house net. Once again, a little bit of chicken and go near this fence. All right guys, net number three, open top lift net once again, near this fence. Now if you hear gunshots in the background, it's just my missus shooting targets. All right, let's get this last net in. And hopefully, give it half an hour, we'll check them. Hopefully we've got a feed. Later on, we'll do um, a bit of a catch and cook, if we get some. I reckon jalapeno poppers with the abbeys. Oh, it's gonna be good. Alrighty, let's get them in the water. Bloody flies are friendly today. Once again, always friendly. This last net will stick down here. One's on a money shot. Alrighty. I reckon we give it about 20 minutes and we'll do the first pull. Woo! See you in 20 minutes. Alright, it's so currently been about three hours. Got a bit distracted, so. Got a bit of help today, pulling these nets. Open top lift net, number one. Yabby's on top. How's that? Another good dam, full of yabbies. Oh yeah. We're gonna be eating good tonight. All right, let's check the next one. All right, net number two. Black Opera House net. I don't think we have enough yabbies. We better check the other two to get our quota. Oh, I'll chuck these yabbies back. All right, we might put these out overnight. Check them again in the morning. Let's do it. Net number three. Let's hope it's as full as that one. Where are we? Near the fence. 
Oh, you gotta jump over. For those of you that don't know, this is my wife, Amanda. Oh She's a bit camera shy at the moment. She'll be on a video one day, I promise. All right. All right, net number three. Open top lift net. Let's hope it's as full as the others. Does it feel heavy? Yep. It's stuck on something. Fuck. Don't. Okay, so the net's stuck on this broken fence. So the man's got to go in. Oh Normally the rule is, if you lose a net, you got to go in in your jocks. But, she's not going to be doing that, so. Oh, I've got a fair few yabbies there. Bring them here. Give you a look. How's that? Nice size yabbies. All right, I think we'll chuck them back. We've got plenty of yabbies. Lucky last net. I finally get a shot to pull a net. Not many. There's some pretty big ones in there. Woo! All right, we'll sort those out. Get some in the esky. And we'll get the nets back in, check them in the morning. All right, we'll chuck the rest of them back. I might move this net back to where we started because I'm going to take all the open top lift nets out because the yabbies can get out of them but these black ones we'll leave them in overnight so I've sorted through the yabbies after all those yabbies we only kept that many just for a feed chuck the rest back so what I'm going to do Stick this black net in overnight and that black net that's already in this one here we'll leave that in overnight chuck that one in we'll check them in the morning all right guys that's it so, leave them in overnight, and I'll see you in the morning. See ya. Good morning, and welcome back to this crazy yabby adventure. This is part two. It's now the next morning. Went out camping last night, out on the farm near the first dam. Oh, good night's sleep. The smell of the country air, the wind howling through the white, the white gums. Oh, what more could you ask for? Anyway, we're back at the dam. We've got two nets in, two black opera house nets. Let's pull them in, see what we got. Now the plan is this morning, Get a little bit of a feed. How's that? <laughs> nice. Good bloody size, the abbeys too. All right, so what we'll do, we'll leave them in the net. We'll go get the other net and we'll pick the biggest ones. Woo! All right, guys, so we did good in that first net. So this is the second net. Let's get her in. One, two, three, four, five yabbies. How does that work? How 
there's that. That net's half full. This net, five yabbies. Oh, you get that. All right, I'll get those nets packed up. We're gonna hit the road. So what I'm gonna do, since that last net was a fail, all these yabbies here, I'm gonna keep them all, because they're all pretty big. There's no small ones in there. Well guys, how's this yabby trip been? It's been so good. Yesterday, heaps of yabbies. Today, we only left two nets in, but we're stinky bait. One net was half full, one net only had five in it. So, it was a very good, very great success. And um, yeah, I will see you at home when we cook these yabbies up. See ya. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're in our kitchen. We've got Cooper here, my little assistant. As you can see here, we're making one hell of a feed. So what we're gonna do, we've got our yabbies. Boom. So we're gonna make yabby jalapeno poppers and a little Cajun boil up. So first thing we gotta do, water. It's on the boil. Next, mix up all your spices. So while Cooper's mixing that, I'll let you know what's in there. So we got this one, pepper seasoning, paprika, Cajun seasoning, pepper, onion powder, all purpose seasoning, uh, salt, and I'm gonna be adding a bit of Tabasco sauce and sriracha sauce. So, when that water's boiled, we'll stick them in there, whack the potatoes in, then when they're soft, we get the corn in, and then we'll get the yabbies in. So, we'll cut these potatoes in half, so only me and Cooper are eating today, so, we'll go check that water. Alrighty, water's boiling enough. I've uh, got the spices, whack them in there. How's that? Mix that up a bit. Alrighty. Give that another five more minutes. Get the potatoes on. Homegrown potatoes from the garden. Oh, you can't get better than homegrown. Smell that. Oh, yeah. Alright, what's next? Poppers. First thing you gotta do, cut the tops off. Of these jalapenos here. Then you go spoon, and bowl, and you scoop all the inside out. You don't want any of that because you've got to stuff it. So I'll do this one, Cooper's gonna do the rest, and I'll start prepping the other stuff. That's what you want, just a big hole like that. So we get them clean, and then you gotta blanch them. So you boil the kettle. Soak them in boiling water for, I don't know, a good seven minutes. Softens them up a bit, gets rid of, gets rid of a bit of the um, potentness of the jalapeno. So we'll get them done, I'll show you the next step. So all you need to blanch these, a bowl, boiling water, the jalapenos in. That easy. Alrighty, while they're doing their thing, we'll whack them over here and we'll get onto the stuffing. The exciting part. Another bowl. What you need now is cream cheese. You want about a cup of cream cheese. So that's roughly about a cup. If I can open it. All right, so just gonna bang that in your bowl. Like so. Now next, bacon. So Cooper's cutting up little chunks of bacon. So we're gonna mix it in there with it. Alrighty, first thing, add your bacon in. 
Boom. Next, mozzarella cheese. You want to grate some cheese in there. So it's really up to you how much to put in there. But um, I like a fair bit. I like it oozing out. Boom. Oh, right. a bit of pepper. Bit of salt. It's really up to you how much you put in. Garlic. Spoon of garlic. And, um, a tablespoon of taco seasoning. Make that in there. Boom. Now I like to add a bit of Tabasco sauce in. A few little dollops of that. Sriracha sauce. Just a tiny bit. Alrighty, jalapenos. They've been in there for about five minutes. So we'll drain them, whack them in the fridge. Alrighty, so there you go. There's your stuffing. We have two bit of mix that up. And I'll get on to the rest. How's this boil going? <laughs> Smell the flavours in that. They're slowly getting soft. I'm a bit excited to eat this. It's my first ever one. Never done it before. It's gonna be good. Now, next part. Yabbies. So we're gonna boil these for only about a minute. You're gonna half cook them. Then we'll get them out of the shells. Back in the mix too. Let's get that on the boil. Alright guys, water's boiling. Time to get the yabbies in. Now, to kill these yabbies, you just stick them in the freezer, put them straight to sleep. So I've done that. They're as dead as a doorknob. So get them in. After boiling, a couple of minutes. You don't want to overcook them. Because they're going to go straight back in the hot oil. Two minutes is up, let's get these jabbies off. Get them straight into the water. Stop some cooking. Alright, we'll sit there in there for a minute and Coop's gonna start peeling them. So this boil, how's that going? Alrighty, the potatoes are soft. Time to add the corn. So I'm only adding two bits of corn today. There's only me and Cooper eating. It's got my corn. Bang them in there. Give them about five minutes. And then we'll add the yabbies in. So today we've got yabbies and a couple of marins. So it's gonna be a good little treat. I didn't have any sausage, so I just found some cavanossi in the fridge. That one? And um, I'm gonna stick that in the boil with it. That should get some nice flavours in it. So I'll bang them in. Give them another five minutes. Cooper's gonna clean these yabbies, and then we'll get the yabbies and the marron into the boil. For those of you that don't know how to peel a yabby, you want to rip the back tail off first, like boom, the poo tube comes out with it, split it down the middle, boom, there you go, that easy. So we'll put them aside, and then uh, we'll start stuffing these jalapenos. Alright, so before we stuff these jalapeno poppers, boom, we've got yabbies and marin. We stick them in the boil. Couple of marron going in. Now the yabbies. There's a big yabbies. Well, send them in.
Now these only need about five minutes after boiling. So get it back to the boil, five minutes, and all these spices should get sucked up into the meat. First thing you gotta do, yabby tails, cut them up into just a little cubes. Boom. Now I like to stuff them with a little bit of yabby first before I put the stuffing in. To get that right up in there, get the stuffing, poke it in, that's way, a bit more yabby, wedge that in there, just like that. There you go, she's all stuffed. Alrighty, we'll put that aside, do the rest. Last one. Then, we'll get some oil on the boil, and I'll show you the next step. We've got to crumb them. Boom. Done. Very messy job. There's a little bit left over, but that's all good. We can make some more later. Alrighty, next step. Get your popper. You want to dip it in milk, like so. Then flour, just plain flour. Crumb it up like that. Boom. Next, egg. Get it all eggy. And then straight into the breadcrumbs, the seasoned breadcrumbs. Really pat those crumbs down. You want it pretty thick. It should, it should come out looking like that. All right, let's get all these crumbed. How does that look? Oh, if you could just smell that. So I've got the oil on the boil. Boom. We'll be frying those jalapenos in a minute. Jalapeno time. They're all crumbed up. Got the oil on the boil now. Let's get them in. <laughs> How good does that look? Smell that. So you want to cook these till they're golden brown. There we go, currently been about five minutes. How's that look? Oh, we'll get these ones out. Get a new lot in. Oh, smell that. This is gonna be bloody good. Gonna be good dinner. Now this is what happens when you get two guys cooking. No wonder the missus hates us cooking in the, at the house. That's why I was cooking the bush. You can be a little bit messy with your food. There you go guys, jalapenos, all cooked. So now we need a dipping sauce. Nice, quick, easy one, Worcestershire sauce. Bang some of that in there. Tabasco sauce. Mix that in there with it too. Like so. Sriracha sauce. Boom. And red hot wing sauce. That's going to be a ring burner. Alrighty. What are you going to do now? Mix it up. We can start eating. Boom. Alrighty. Let's get all this together and we'll dig in. Oh right, guys, that's it, we're done. We've got the jalapeno poppers, the boil, the yabby boil, with a few marin in there, and the dipping sauce. Have a look. Bit of B-roll.
Yeah. All right, guys. Taste test of time. We're all cooked. Got the boil, the sausage, potato, corn, stuffed jalapenos, and a dipping sauce. Let's give it a go. Try the sausage first. What do you reckon? Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> so you really taste those flavours. Next, jalapeno popper. Oh, shit. Oh. How's that? Even though it fell apart? Shit. It's gonna be good. Mmm. Mm. That's so good. Got the yabby in there. Oh. Bit of potato. You can taste all those bits of seasoning I put in there. <coughs> oh. Now, the best part the Abbeys. Alrighty, we got a bowl. Bit of a scrap bowl there. Yep. Do this all day. The dipping sauce. Mmm. You just have to try this. Our sauce is awesome. Clement flavour. How's corn? They're really good. Alrighty, that's another episode done. Trust me, please try this if you get a spare few yabbies and the marin. It's well worth it. So thanks for watching and um, hope these guys enjoyed it as much as I like making them and um, see you on the next adventure.